Hello, my name is Design Ghost, and welcome to another episode of our design series where we learn everything design. If you are new here, kindly subscribe to our channel and don't forget to put us on post notifications so that you do not miss any amazing content we post here. Today, I am going to take you through a step by step process on creating a crossover silver 3D test using a mockup. Alright, I'm going to take you through the process. No link to download anything. We are just going to delve into the step by step process of how I do it. Alright, and so without wasting too much of your time, let's begin. And so we'll open a new tab and then we'll search silver 3D tests mockup and the first platform that pops is freepick so we are going to select freepick and our 3d test opens so we have numerous 3d silver test over here so you choose the one that you want but let's go with the first one and then just like that it is free and so we are going to select the file type that we want and it's PSD so you just click on the PSD to download all right for me I've already downloaded that so we hop on straight to Photoshop to apply our magic all right so we just have to drag this and drop inside Photoshop wait for it to load and so in Photoshop we are going to change it to the test that we want since um, it's a smart object so we double click and do not resolve we take off this then we grab our test tool then we write our crossover cross over great And then we use a font style called Pompeii. Pompeii Word. Beautiful. Now, web spacing of about minus 50, minus 75. I think minus 75 is okay. Let's make sure it's aligned center. Perfect. Let's position it in the middle. Control S to apply it with the effect. So we open up our work and we have our 3D test ready here. But the web spacing is too much, so we go back in the and we reduce it. Oops. That didn't even work. All right, so 70. Save the game. Good. And because this particular mockup is heavy, and you see our machine is lagging right now. If you have a better machine, your machine won't be lagging. All right. So what we are going to do is that we are going to create a new document. And we are going to merge and duplicate the layers into a single layer so that it is going to be lighter and we are going to take off the background too so we are going to hide the background and the test leaving the 3d test alone and so we are going to file new And we can see a five by five with a 300 resolution and we create a new document then we select all by holding shift then ctrl alt e to duplicate it all right and now we've duplicated and we've merged and duplicated it into a single layer and then we can move it so this way it becomes very light see now our machine is not lagging anymore great so we don't need this anymore so no then we'll take it out all 
now we have to add a background to this all right so we'll go back to pinterest then we background background okay there are textured backgrounds here textured backgrounds here so let's look through and pick one for time being let me just copy this copy and paste now go back to pinterest again and uh, i think this is okay so i'll copy this too photoshop paste and i'm going to change the blend options let me see screen soft slide um city and overlay multiply and I'm going to reduce the opacity a bit grab my eraser to and take off the middle part and just like that um I come back here and I find clock background oops clock background and I have clocks here so I pick this first one again I copy image and then I paste. Then I take it up. Um, a bit up. And I change the blend mode to about screen. Great. Just like that, Pinterest is um someone jumping. Jumping. Um, I want something like this, so let me come here. Great. And I think um, this will blend well. So I copy this to, and then I paste. And I make sure the part that I want is. And then I change the blend mode to screen to create. So you see, it's now blending very well with this. And so, because I wanted to show much more, duplicate, Control J to duplicate, and that gives me the outline of the image. So I select my eraser tool and I clean it. Then the same thing applies to this one. Then I clean it too. And now my background is ready my crossover is ready and so i can group all of these and i call it background great now we add some test to it so we have just like crossover service And then we are going to use a font style called autograph for it. Autograph. Until we come here, then we look for autograph service. 
and do it so we can open it up great and now we can add any default tests as maybe the details of the church or anything so you can put that for your church here and um, oops that didn't show so we grab our test we click and drag okay oops so what's happening here let's just look I think right now I'm getting obsessed with Lufka. <laughs> yeah. Oops. We change this to about twenty. Okay. So let me take it to about eight. Great. And then okay. I'm pretty sure the line height is very much. Uh, I said it. And so let me take that to nine. Great. And um. Let me take it from italic to regular or medium. I think medium is okay. Control D to deselect, and that is too much, so I'll delete portion of it because I want just a few part of it. So let me delete that. And this can probably be the details of your church. We are just putting in a default test for the sake of this tutorial. So once you have this done, it is just easy. Oops. It is just easy for you to add the details of your church. So you have something like presents. And then we open up the red spacing the letter spacing and we make sure it's at the center select and we change that from medium to build and great and so we can duplicate that bring it here and um, or better still we draw some rectangles and um, we position it in the middle control D to deselect and um, we are going to choose blue but a decal blue and uh, so that it's going to blend well with it and so we change that okay so however that you want it to be uh, you, let's see how a gradient is going to apply or not So we give it a lighter portion of this and the darker portion of the blue just like we wanted. Great. And so here too you can put your information, your needed information down here take it to about 25 regular white and this is too big so I'm going to change it from uppercase to lowercase and a bit bold yeah I think that is okay so you have that information to here and then 
you can add another one to for instance like so we duplicate this no, we don't want one with the text box so we type for more information for more information contacts and then you put your church contacts line here or so we can copy this copy and paste control D to deselect bring it to the base and um, we change the color to black for visibility sake and this to medium letter spacing let me increase this a bit to that great so it's more visible so from here you can add whatever elements that you want to add onto your work uh let's see let's position this in the center right it's in the center nice so you can add whatever complement you want to add whatever shapes that you want to add onto it but this is a simple foundation of how you can create a crossover service silver thirst using a mock-up all right we are at that time of the year where churches will be crossing over as a subscriber of this platform you get to benefit on how to ease the stress of numerous designs of crossover and ideas so this becomes your foundation of idea that you can build on to give your client an excellent work if this video was helpful that you got something from it remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share for others to benefit if you've watched up to this point and you've not subscribed yet kindly do us a favor by subscribing to our channel and don't forget to put us on post notifications so that you do not miss any amazing content we post here my name is design ghost your favorite designer and see you in the next episode bye